Hey guys, Grassman here. Hang on a second. Everything was crushed by squash. I, I've, um, I've got a bonus level load here. So we're just gonna quickly pass this. We're gonna quickly beat this level. Um, I also figure for the two-year anniversary stuff, I should probably like edit the thumbnails some somewhat at least. So the thumbnails are gonna have some sort of. I'm sorry, I'm just distracted here a little bit. There, and that's fine. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna edit the thumbnails a little bit. Um, I might change the design a little bit. So for the first couple of videos, like you might even see the thumbnails changing. Um, but let me know what you think of the first thumbnail. I'm still not quite sure at the time of recording what I'm gonna do for this. Um, but once I actually have it, this this video is going to have it as well as the previous video retroactively. So let me know what you think of. Let me know what you think of the video. Um, or sorry, the th thumbnail. Continue on the adventure. Let me know what you think of the thumbnail, and if you like suggestions for it, or if you think it's fine. Not gonna watch any ads or anything for the shovel. I got another uh, Stick of War Legacy speedrun today. Or, I guess, from the day you were seeing this the previous day? This is recorded the previous day. Um, I got a 45 second... A 45 second run on the Magic Hill level for normal for no normal campaign. In Stick War Legacy. And that's... The previous record was a 47. And it required... that This has been the hardest one so far. It required a bun bunch of like really good luck perp, basically. Um, because I needed... What you have to do is you have to get... Okay, so I'm gonna, uh, what's it called? Pea shooter after this. After he passes by. You have to get, like, um, really lucky with... You kind of have to get good timing on the spawning of your guys. Good luck with where the enemies spawn is the main thing. Because the way you have to do it is, if you allow the enemies to spawn and, like, survive, you're in trouble. I can't just put an ice pee in each, each lane here. If you allow the enemies to spawn and, like, survive, they explode you, so you have to kill them. And if they get any stun shots off, that's lost time. Because they have, like, an explosion attack that stuns you. So you have to immediately jump attack and kill both of them. Go for ice and everything next. And I managed to... I managed to get lucky and get that jump attack. For each one. And there's only two of them? I'm sorry, I'm very distracted by the game. Um, you have to get the jump attack for two guys. And they... But they have to... The way it works is, if there's any of the miners around, they actually get in the way. And you can see this run over on my second channel. If there's any miners around, they get in the way, and will absorb the hit. And so you have to not have miners standing in the way. Um, and then the magic kill also have to spawn slightly, like, um, slightly off, slightly spread off. Um, what's, what's the word? Not overlapping, basically. They have to come... Away, from, both away from miners and away from each and separated by a bit of time, so that my guys have enough time to, or that I have enough time to reload my jump. Get 
I'm good so far. This is a longer level. I want, I want the ice sky before the wave here. Don't need one of these. No point in doing more ice as well, because it doesn't actually add anything beyond... It doesn't add anything beyond the slow. And it adds almost nothing to have multiple slow shots. Technically, it's a slight advantage, but only in, like, very rare scenarios. So I managed to get the, the very lucky run of getting, not only killing both magic kill, but then the other part of the, of the run, of the luck in the run, is to um, have your your AI controlled sword wrath stay on the enemy tower and keep hitting it. Because if they're not, if they, if they don't stay hitting the enemy tower, um, it takes you solo longer to kill it. If they're like attacking the miners instead. So two of the three that were there stayed in the tower, and I think I had a fourth one coming in who didn't quite get there in time. Because you, you can summon a fourth one, but they won't, like, arrive in time. It doesn't start eating. Yeah, the jumpers just barely have time. The vaulters have time barely sometimes get over. Seems like about half the time they die ahead of time. Let's start putting these guys here. It will cause the it will because of the slowness most of them most of them will die otherwise anyway. Um but the vaulters at least will get launched into the nuts. So I got it really lucky to kill both magic kill without them either of them doing the stun shot and both of them um and I got I had I had my AI controlled sword wrath stay in the tower I'm gonna put this yet There we go. And with our limited seed slots, I think we get rid of the explosion. Oh yeah, there's ads in this game. This is a 30 second ad. That was a forced 30 second ad. I don't know how I think about that. Devours a zombie whole, but is vulnerable while chewing. Okay, so use the sunflower. Uh, that was wrong. Uh, it's still fine, just slightly more annoying. Okay, which lane is the first zombie coming in? Okay, it's a little annoying. Yeah, without potato mining me, I pee shit immediately. Could have stayed, waited a little longer so we can get more sunflowers. Let's go and put them one leg more forward. Hmm. 
believe there's different like walking speeds as well for the zombies. I didn't initially know that. I think it's something I learned out of a video, but now watch seeing it does it does actually make sense. Some of them are doing like fun walks, whereas other ones are doing like sm like slow shambles. It's almost not noticeable, but it is just barely. Start getting chompers soon. Make sure I have at least one piece of dirt in every lane, though. Don't actually have enough time for like ice peas in every lane here. This is a shorter level. Sun, thank you. Yeah, we won't get ice. We get like another chomper. Whenever that final wave comes out, I'm, I'm expecting to hear that. Like the guys throwing down the. The guys putting down the. Um, what are they called? The bungees coming in? Now do we get more sun or is the chomp finish eating first? It did take a while. Ah, and repeater. Now, do we go potato mine? And, again, really? Okay, repeater. I should turn on airplane- I'm gonna turn on airplane mode from now on. At least after the video. Try and keep that out of the way. Okay, so, uh, that's necessary. So now the option is we do, we can do this. I'm gonna try. There's a little bit of RNG with when you get the sun from the sunflower. Sometimes you can get it slightly sooner and get faster sunflowers, other times you get it slower and it can cause problems. He's right in the bottom. I can wait even to place this, the potato mine. So that'll, that'll buy us some time to really get going. Ice in the front, repeaters in the back. We want the ice bolts to be able to get to the zombies faster. Do 
Do I go ice and all first? Does require at least one bite to actually before he'll actually grab it. There's the ice. I can get three rows of repeaters. There. Well, possibly anyway. Sorry about like the spontaneous screen color changing. Um, that happens just because my like phone connection is bad. So it's like trying to tell me it's you're plugged in now, even though I've been plugged in already for the past 20 minutes. I can just unplug it. I, that might be best. I don't need it to be plugged in. So I want to finish these three lanes, and then I can start, can start getting repeaters in the back. Hey, here comes the first big wave. Just like a random... Well, let's see what happens. Could survive, maybe? There's two eating it now. Rip. Yeah, that's another problem. I will put the occasional sunflower in the middle, then, in the front, then, to stop the pole vultures, because I don't want them getting, like... I mean, I guess if they get over into the chompers, it's fine, so long as the chompers are prepped. Problem is when they aren't. And they take a long time to reset. Yeah, might have been better to invest in some repeaters earlier on than the chompers, rather than chompers. But now we've got a bunch of stuff in each. That needs to be replaced. I don't have walnut healing, and then they're very slow recharge as well. So it is important to, like, take one out, and then replant it, um, so I can replant another one later. Will he die before he hits the jumper? Oh, I just barely know. Damn. Neither of the bottom ones there, though, now are going to get a shot. Ooh, spit out, just barely went off. Well, that was almost bad. I didn't realize there was a second one there. Almost out of time, too. Just get a repeater in every lane. Not gonna be able to. Not quite. Just barely by the end here, maybe. Ok, 
Okay, what do we... Oh. I just saw an ad for a dinosaur game that was actually Lord's Mobile. That actually wasn't Lord's Mobile, it was just sideways. Great. Okay, level 10. Rush through this one. Can we rush through this one? That's not a good start. Actually, we can't rush through this one. I have to end this here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, from the back of my you feel like, come on! Joke's on them, I can leave the game and end this video on the title screen. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, if you enjoyed my content, feel free, feel free to like and subscribe. Um, yeah, we'll end this here. This might take longer, as we only played, like, a couple levels there. As the levels do take longer in the later levels, um, it will require, like, more videos. So, I mean, hopefully we're not playing this game for too long, but I do want to do one full run-through of the play of the series. And maybe, you know, maybe I can upload, like, three videos a day or something to try and do it faster. Um, we'll see. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.